When it comes to learning Blender, there's two main ways to go about it, tutorials and courses. Tutorials are crucial for quick and accessible information, but on the other hand, courses provide a much more in-depth learning experience. To make it a little easier for you guys to find the courses that fit you best, I've categorized them under the following topics. Blender Basics, Sculpting, Motion Graphics, Animation and Rigging, Nodes. You'll also find links to every course mentioned in this video in the description. Blender Launchpad, CG Boost. It's the perfect course to help you wrap your head around Blender's basics like navigation, modeling, animation and rendering. The goal is to take you from knowing nothing about Blender to being able to create your own 3D projects and learn more advanced topics. The course goes over many subjects I've touched on on my channel before, such as shading, particles, simulations, lighting, UV mapping, texture painting and even baking. CG Boost is currently also working on an update for newer Blender versions which will follow later in 2023. Side note, this course uses Blender 2.8. However, everything in the course works just as well in newer versions of Blender. The Blender Bros Hard Surface Game Asset Course. This is a course by Blender Bros Josh Gambrel and Conte Ryuri, who collectively have over 200k subs on YouTube and already cover a wide variety of hard surface and industry related topics there. The course specifically covers all the essentials you need to get started with hard surface modeling and game asset creation in Blender. It covers in-depth hard surface modeling, automation techniques for UV unwrapping, decimation for creating proper low poly assets and triangulation to make sure that any 3D software knows how to handle your assets. I think this is one of those courses you have to get if your goal is to become a 3D artist in the game or movie industry. Side note, this course includes the use of third-party software and add-ons. However, if you're serious about becoming a 3D artist, you'll need to learn and buy most of these anyways. Cubic Worlds, CG Boost. Cubic Worlds is basically the perfect sequel to the Blender Launchpad. It goes over the creation of several scenes using a simplified Lego approach to create impressive 3D animated stories. You'll learn how to become more creative in your storytelling, modeling and animation using limited elements. Again, touching on many crucial aspects for beginners such as character creation, rigging, compositing, volumetrics and physics simulation, you'll dive deeper in all that Blender has to offer. Human. CG Cookie. If you're big into 3D, you probably have seen some of these amazing, indistinguishable from real life 3D models of humans. They're so incredibly photoreal and apparently that's something we can do just using Blender. In this course, which is not for beginners, you'll learn how to create lifelike human faces in 3D. With over 28 hours of video covering every step from sculpting and texturing to hair and presentation, this is a great way to get started the art of 3D portraiture. Master 3D Sculpting in Blender CG Boost Sculpting is one of those things that seems incredibly daunting at first and when you try it out yourself you'll usually end up with some weird ugly blob like this. And that's why I think it's one of those skills learned best from a course versus a tutorial. This course given by Zach Reinhardt goes over important sculpting workflows using only free tools and also touches on texturing, shading, rendering and in the near future animation. Zach, founder of CG Boost, has made some amazing artworks in his time as an artist and is someone I've been following for some time now. And let me tell you that he's definitely the right person to teach you these sculpting workflows. Now I've mentioned CG Boost's courses before and not only because they're high quality and made with the intention of making learning as fun as possible, but mostly because of their philosophy, which is to teach through inspiration. And that is something that I deeply resonate with as a creator and within my own work. I find this separates their courses from many others as the result you're working towards is always something that inspires you to do more and that makes you proud. CG Boost has been a great support to this channel for some time now and I appreciate us working together to teach Blender and inspire you to be the best you can be. Side note, sculpting is a lot easier if you for example have a drawing tablet. However, it is not required. Anatomy and form in Blender. Jan Sculpt. Getting started with sculpting characters, anatomy is one of the hardest things to learn. Just learning how the tools work isn't enough to create believable characters, as you need to get the anatomy, proportions, and even the muscle shape right for them to look good. Jan Sculpt is a well-known character sculptor in Blender and makes some very cool art. He's the one who will teach you all of these things in this 6 plus hour course of real-time tutorials. 
Intro to Motion Graphics, Ducky 3D. I've done quite a few motion graphics related tutorials myself, but everyone knows the one true king of motion graphics is Ducky 3D. So who better to teach you about this subject? In his course he goes over tons of techniques to help you create procedural looping animations, which are a hard concept to grasp by their nature. Ducky teaches this exceptionally well though, and goes over things like shading, camera animation, volumes, compositing, and 3D text to help you create cool looking motion graphics graphics inside a blender. Master Grease Pencil in Blender. CG Boost. Another one of those topics you definitely need to learn through a course. Grease Pencil. It's one of Blender's most diverse yet completely underrepresented tools. There's hardly any tutorials on it and great artists such as Deduce and Kevin Dram make it look effortless in a way that's almost frustrating. Luckily Kevin or Kevin Dram will teach you everything you need to know about Grease Pencil to start creating your own 2.5D artworks. It's both a great introduction to the tool and its use case as well as a deep dive into creating a great looking artwork. Another neat thing is that CG Boost offers help with anything you run into by a team of professionals on their online community. Now this is great for a tool which can be really hard to wrap your head around. Alive and the art of effective rigging. P2 Design Academy. Now this is a two-piecer as both of these courses touch on similar subjects and are by the same creator, P2 Design Academy, also known as Pierrick Pico. Pierrick is a very talented artist, animator and video game art director. I would advise you to start out with his rigging course so you can first learn how to set up simple and advanced character and facial rigs in Blender before diving deep into animation in his Alive course. In this course he goes over everything you need for animation like character animation, locomotion, layered animation, space switching, combo animation and polishing. Now both of these courses are extremely thorough and perfect for learning these notoriously difficult subjects. Since the beginning of 2023, the Master 3D Sculpting course has gotten an update in which they go over the basics of rigging using the Rigify add-on that's shipped with Blender by default. Zach will explain how to create a full body rig for this cool looking character as well as going over how to pose it afterwards. In their Cubic Worlds course, there's also an extensive section about rigging and animation. Procedural Shading, Fundamentals and Beyond, Geometry Notes from Scratch by Blender Studio. The first, Procedural Shading, is a great course to learn the essentials of shader notes in Blender. It's a subject that's hard to grasp at times and tutorials usually quickly skim over. In this course, you'll go over vectors, textures, shading principles, and animation. Plus, by joining Blender Studio, you're supporting the development of Blender. Besides this course, Blender Studio offers loads of other useful courses, such as their Geometry Notes from Scratch course and their Procedural Shading course. Now, all of these are very well done and I definitely recommend them. Geometry Notes for Beginners Advanced Geometry Notes Arendelle there's still hardly any Geometry Notes course material out there. Luckily, Arendelle, one of the most knowledgeable people I know when it comes to notes, created an amazing beginner-friendly course. Now, I'm a big fan of Geometry Notes. I've made quite a few tutorials on it myself, as you guys probably know. But in this course, you'll get a good understanding of the workspace, shortcuts, how Geometry Notes works, what its capabilities are, and how to use it for your own workflow. Erin also has an advanced course teaching procedural modeling and generating reusable note groups. Perfect for if you already know the basics. Master 3D Environments in Blender, CG Boost. Now this is one of the most impressive courses out there in my opinion. Martin Kleckner, the creator of Heroes of Bronze, which you should definitely check out if you haven't yet, teaches you all you need to know to create stunning and professional 3D environments in Blender. He goes over all the basic workflows, in-depth shading techniques such as displacement and material blending, and even has a dedicated chapter for using geometry nodes to create landscapes. Definitely check it out if you enjoy nature and environment creation in 3D. So now you know some of my favorite courses that will help you on your Blender learning journey. But I see a lot of you are still stuck in something I like to call tutorial jail. Basically creating tutorial after tutorial, but not really growing as an artist. Do you feel like you're stuck inside a tutorial jail sometimes and you want to get out? Make sure to check out this video here. And as always, a big thanks to the following patrons for supporting the channel.